the tech world is talking about virtual reality, and companies are looking for the hottest talent. Working in the metaverse may seem like a concept straight out of a science fiction novel, but in many ways, that reality is already here. The metaverse is a catch-all term that refers to a collaborative digital social space, where users can store, certify, and buy digital assets with cryptocurrencies through decentralized blockchain systems. Large tech companies like Meta, the parent company of Facebook, are now taking the metaverse mainstream, and venture capitalists are also going all in on Web3, a new iteration of the web based on the blockchain. Should the metaverse materialize as they predict, it will radically change how people work in live, with much of our time spent moving in virtual spaces. So there are job boards dedicated to roles building out the metaverse. One such board, ThinkTiaVerseJobs.com, hosts postings from startups and big tech alike, while some of those listings are for traditional roles like software engineer or business development analyst. Others are for new ones like crypto strategist and world space developer. Other new areas involve creating exclusive content within certain virtual worlds. According to Megan Loy Street, a 24-year-old investor at Lurer Hippo known for her comprehensive guide to the metaverse. Loy Street told Insider that about 41% of General ZERS wanted to start their own business someday. There are tons of opportunities for individual creators to monetize their side. Hustles, she said, adding that it was already happening on online gaming platforms like Roblox and Spatial, which hosts virtual art galleries for non-fungible tokens. For instance, Roblox users can design and sell skins for avatars to other users. And some are partnering with luxury brands like Gucci and Ralph Lauren for exclusive drops that can be purchased with the in-game currency RobUX and later sold for a profit. Or artists and designers can display and sell their NFTs via online art galleries, like Spatial, while customers tour them on their laptops or with virtual reality headsets. Virtual real estate is a growing area of interest as metaverse real estate developers are buying up land on various platforms. For instance, Republic Realm, a metaverse real estate developer that says it's one of the largest NFT real estate developers, is buying up land and building villas on virtual worlds like Decent or Island and Sandbox, using various cryptocurrencies. These metaverse land grabs come with all sorts of job opportunities. Lois Street said, digital designers can now become virtual architects. For instance, the crypto wallet startup Meta Mask hired an architecture firm to build its headquarters in the metaverse in the shape of its Fox logo. And Republic Realm is hiring for over a dozen roles, including an NFT product manager and a blockchain developer. Even more traditional firms are getting in on the action. PricewaterhouseCoopers Hong Kong purchased virtual office space in December in Sandbox, hoping to network with wealthy investors and founders who are making their own avatars on the platform. As more of these virtual office parks and spaces are built, there will be more demand for virtual guides. Lois Street said, the travel industry could offer tour guides for NFT art galleries and VR business, conferences that teach how to engage more effectively on those platforms. One way the metaverse may drift into the lives of more people is through employee job training, by simulating stressful or even dangerous situations. Ver job training can keep employees safe and create all sorts of career paths in virtual spaces. Jeremy Bale and Son, a Stanford University VR researcher and co-founder of the enterprise VR startup, SDRIVR, said, you use VR when there's a really good reason to. Bale and Son told Insider, we're not at a point where we're using VR for mass communication, but for training purposes, where things are impossible, it's really worth it. One such example is STRIVR's pilot training program for Walmart where Bale and Sun helped to develop VR simulations for employees dealing with anything, from the holiday rush to an active shooter. The startup has trained over 800,000 Walmart employees and has expanded its access to all 4,700 stores nationwide. As VR gets adopted more broadly as a tool in the workplace, many metaverse job roles will likely become available down the line. Bale and Sun said, just like today's companies need web and mobile app designers, They'll need programmers and 3D modeler S and artists to build these simulations and virtual workplaces. Balenson said, you'll also need instructional designers that know how to make educational content. He added, after employees finish a simulation, you'll need data scientists to track and assess nonverbal behavior to make sure that the training was absorbed. He said, 
much of the world isn't quite ready to fully adopt the metaverse. Raja Koduri, the vice president of Intel's Accelerated Computing Systems and Graphics Group, told Quartz in December that over 1.000 times the current computing power is needed to make the metaverse that COs envision a reality. And one of the biggest hurdles for the metaverse is the lack of widespread adoption of VR technology. Balinson said, there's over 10 million VR goggles in circulation in this already, but they're collecting dust. Balinson said, you've got to figure out how to integrate VR into people's lives and routines.